An island paradise in the Caribbean, once ruled by Spain and then to the United States, welcome to stunning Puerto Rico. Join us as we unravel its past and explore its culture and its people. Puerto Rico's earliest population was made up of Arawak Indians who arrived on the island approximately 1,000 years ago. They developed the Taino culture prevalent to many of the Caribbean island nations during that era. They named the island of what is now Puerto Rico as Borinquen and were able to ward off many attacks from their Carib neighbors. The local population thrived by fishing, hunting, and farming. By the time the Spanish arrived in 1493, there were around 20 to 50,000 local inhabitants in the island. When Christopher Columbus arrived in 1493 during his second voyage, he arrived on the island and christened in San Juan Bautista. But they eventually changed the name to Puerto Rico or Rich Port due to the prevalence of gold deposits in the rivers inland. Are you familiar with Christopher Columbus? Tell us where you know him from in the comments below. At first, the Tainos viewed the Spanish as their protectors, but they eventually soon lost reverence for the latter, who expected them to pay tribute in gold and food. The local population was ravaged by diseases introduced by the Spanish, who were largely immune to them, and thus started the slow but sure decline of the indigenous population. The Spanish developed plantations on the island, Sugar and ginger plantations were established throughout the island with the help of slaves brought over from Africa. Coffee, tobacco also made their way to the island. Due to its importance, the Caribs would go on raids to the island, destroying property, carrying off slaves, and so on. European wars and rivalries also made their way to the Caribbean, and thus Puerto Rico was also subject to attacks by the Dutch, French, and English in the 16th century. Thus, in the latter half of the same century, they converted the city of San Juan into a fortress. The 1800s was defined by a general feeling of independence amongst the Spanish colonies in Latin America, except for Puerto Rico, which became a safe haven for many loyalists to the Spanish crown. Due to this, Puerto Rico gained some autonomy from the Spanish crown as a reward. After 1830, Puerto Rico gradually developed a plantation economy based on sugarcane and coffee. This further enriched the country and opening new trade routes to Europe and the United States did much to help quicken this process. The political status of Puerto Rico in the 19th century was one of alternating liberal and conservative values. By 1865, a vote on the abolishment of slavery angered many conservatives. This provoked some pro-independence radicals in what is now known as the Grito de Lares, or Cry of Lares, on September 23, 1868. This did enough for Spain to grant reforms to the island nation yet again. During the brief 1898 Spanish-American War, Puerto Rico would change hands. From Spain, it would be passed on to the Americans. Puerto Rico, Guam, and the Philippine Islands were ceded to the United States after Spain's defeat in the Spanish-American War as part of the Treaty of Paris. With Puerto Rico's colonial state came several changes, mainly in currency, government, and education, with civil rights and political status being decided by the U.S. Congress, a power it still holds over a century later. During the first three decades, a new Puerto Rican constitution was approved by the Congress that made the country an autonomous commonwealth while also granting the population American citizenship. According to the World Bank, the GDP of Puerto Rico is valued at around $113 billion. The CIA labels the country as having a U.S. Caribbean island territorial economy. 
Puerto Rico's economy is highly based on services and manufacturing. However, it used to be dominated by agriculture up until the middle of the 20th century. After the Second World War, factories slowly replaced farmlands and thus began the island's new status as a manufacturing hub for the United States. This also led to poverty being virtually eliminated on the island. Present-day Puerto Rico has limited natural resources. Only clay, silica sand, and stone are found in economically significant quantities. Large deposits of copper and some gold exist in the mountains but have not been mined because of environmental concerns. The existence of mountainous terrain hinders agricultural growth. The flag of the Commonwealth of Puerto Rico is rectangular in shape and consists of five alternating horizontal stripes, three red and two white, with an isosceles triangle with a five-pointed white star in the center based on the hoist side. Historically, it is largely based on the Cuban flag. The three red stripes signify the blood that helps nourish the three branches of government. The white stripes represent individual liberty and human rights. The white star is representative of the Commonwealth. The blue triangle symbolizes the sky and the seas, and the three sides of the triangle represent the three branches of the government. The capital of Puerto Rico is San Juan. It has a total land area of 9,100 square kilometers, or 3,500 square miles. The island is mostly mountainous with tropical forests all over. The highest point in Puerto Rico is located in Cerro de Punta, which stands at 4,300 feet, or 1,300 meters above sea level. Puerto Rico has a tropical climate, being in the Caribbean. It has little seasonal variation. The average temperature throughout the year is a crisp 27 degrees Celsius or 81 degrees Fahrenheit, perfect for the beach holidays. Puerto Rico is also home to a rich biodiversity of flora and fauna. As of 1998, there have been a recorded 289 plants, 16 birds, and 39 reptiles endemic to the island. These include the Coqui and the Puerto Rican Amazon. The country has a population of around 3 million individuals, each with their own story and ethnic background, around 75% of which are white. However, Puerto Rican culture is distinct in that it is a mixture of the old and the new. Indigenous traditions, the Spanish way of life, and even African culture come together to create a vibrant lifestyle for many Puerto Ricans. What one cannot deny is the large presence of American influence in the day-to-day -day lives of the Puerto Rican people. From the adoration of baseball to the emulation of the American lifestyle, the United States has certainly made its way to Puerto Rican everyday life. Talking about Puerto Rico's history and its people can certainly make one hungry. Here are a few dishes you can try when you visit the island. First off, we have pernil, the boracua or Puerto Rican style of cooking lechon. Whole roasted pig marinated in garlic, oregano, oil and other ingredients, it will surely sate your appetite. This dish is often enjoyed during Christmas and other festive occasions symbolizing family gatherings and celebrations. Mofongo is another dish, one that has endured waves of colonization. Inspired by West African fufu, it combines plantains, bacon, and garlic into a mash. Mofongo can be served as a main dish, often filled with meat, seafood, or vegetables, and is a staple in Puerto Rican cuisine due to its versatility and rich flavor. Then we have Caldo Santo, or Holy Stew, usually cooked on Good Friday. It is made from fish and also takes its roots from African cuisine. This dish is part of the Lenten tradition, 
where many Puerto Ricans abstain from meat and opt for seafood-based dishes instead. Tostones are another popular Puerto Rican dish made from twice-fried green plantains. They are crispy, savory, and often served as a side dish or appetizer with garlic sauce or as a base for other dishes. Tostones have African origins, tracing back to the island's African ancestors who brought plantain-based dishes with them. Empanadillas are a Puerto Rican variation of empanadas, featuring a crispy pastry filled with various ingredients such as beef, chicken, cheese, or seafood. They are a favorite snack or street food enjoyed by locals and tourists alike. The origins of empanadillas can be traced back to Spanish influence, blending with local ingredients and culinary practices. Puerto Rican cuisine is a flavorful journey through the island's rich history and diverse cultural influences, making it a must-try for any visitor. Puerto Rico is also home to many famous people. A lot of them are artists, musicians, actors, and first on the list is Ricky Martin, world-famous songwriter and actor notorious for his charms among men and women alike. Rosario Dawson, the famous veteran actress, is of Puerto Rican, Taino, Cuban, and African ancestry. Benicio del Toro, the BAFTA award-winning actor, is known for being proud of his Puerto Rican roots. Benito Ocasio, AKA Bad Bunny, is a global music sensation known for his groundbreaking contributions to the reggaeton and Latin trap genres. Ramon Ayala Rodriguez, AKA Daddy Yankee, is a legendary reggaeton artist who has been instrumental in bringing the genre to an international audience. If you enjoyed this video on Puerto Rico, you'll love the next one.